what everybody's talking about from uh, that game one between the Rockets and the Warriors. And uh, I guess we'll start with just the last shot by by James Harden uh, and the no call. That's because it's not a foul. Okay, I'm just we're just we're starting mm, to unpack off. all of this. Uh, Harden and the Rockets thought certainly there should have been, and Golden State hangs on. So I don't think it's a foul. That one. I don't think it's a foul. That However, one. The letter of the law says. No, no, Shaq. That one. That one. Yeah, that one. I don't listen. I don't think it's a foul, but the letter of the law says you're supposed to give. No, but I mean, space. on which one, Shaq? That one. We talking about that right yeah, now? That's yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. The letter of the law says you're supposed we have to give others? space yeah. to land. Well, there were others, and, and Mike D'Antoni had said he was told by, by the officiating crew, like, we missed four of them in the first half. That's, he, you know that, why they said that, Ernie? What? Because they did. Yeah. And, and, it's this, all this about, foul. and it's all about somebody having you know, a shooter having a chance to land. Yeah, all right, so what's the difference between this one and that one? Because uh, right, James came a lot really forward on that last one, but that's a foul. Okay, so Reggie and it wasn't Miller called. To come forward. And that one right that's there. A, that's a foul. That's the same one. Yeah. Just a different angle. No, this is the one, Kenny. It's the same one. No, it's not the same one. They're from different sides of the court. No, it's different angles. That's supposed to be. And that's here's, supposed to be and here's the guy's airspace. One with Chris that's Paul. Not, not, I think that was an exaggeration by Chris Paul, right. personally. And it all goes back to, yeah, right there. to this that brought all the attention to it was Zaza Pachulia. Well, let me just Stepped in and Kawhi Leonard rolled his ankle, and there went the lead, and there went Kawhi Leonard for that series. Uh, I just want to say this. Number one, the officials had a bad day. They had a bad day because they've been calling that play, and the Chris Paul one and James Harden at the end, I can live with. But that was four in the first half that were fouls. If they're going to go by the letter law on stuff they've been yeah. calling all season. And that's a dangerous play uh, when, you, when you have guys coming down on your foot. You can hurt. And, but, and I used this and I was telling somebody today, Clay and Steph both got bad ankles. If one of the Rockets players was standing under them and they came down and hurt their ankle a lot worse, the, the wars would be going crazy. But that being said, the refs had a bad day. They're entitled to have a bad day. Uh, but they just had a bad day Sunday, in my opinion. You know, right. I talked, I talked to Monty McCutcheon uh, tonight on the phone. Monty McCutcheon's the VP for referee development and training. And we just talked about that because there's been talk about, hey, if you're going to call it that way in the regular season, call it that way in the postseason. And that is the intent. But he said it was a fundamental breakdown by that officiating crew. He was, he was uh, honest and candid about it. said it was a fundamental breakdown because what they try to do uh, and what they're instructed to do is on is on a shot like that. You have a, a it's a three step thing. Watch going up, watch how they land, and then focus on the rebound. And he said it was a fundamental breakdown. They were not watching closely enough the landing. You know, they Can saw go thing? go up, and, he, and so he thing. that's that's ahead, what Chad. that's what he admitted. The players only want consistency. So if you're going to yeah. call it during the regular season, if you're going to call it all, call it. James Harden is kicking his legs up, but a lot of guys have, have done that and have gotten the call. That's why he continues to do it. But the letter of the law says you have to give a guy space when he lands. I'm not saying Golden State, they're, they're coming under it on purpose, but when you play shooters like that, if you just real close to them, it's a 50 50 chance that when they come down, they're going to yeah, touch yeah. your foot. Well, and you know what that does for the shooter when you up under him like that, it takes his concentration of being a great shooter. Well, Joe Borgia uh, last night on NBA TV explained it and he takes a look at one shot with that should have been called and another which is the harden at the end of the game and here's the explanation the rule is a defender he is not allowed to jump towards the jump shooter and take away what would be that jump shooters landing area basically under normal circumstances so what we're going to see is this first play here James Harden's going to take the shot and Clay Thompson is going to close out on him. Now Thompson, when he comes, he goes directly towards Harden and he basically makes contact with him before James lands. You can see the contact on his hip and his legs. Therefore, that should be a foul. Now there's another play late in the fourth quarter where Draymond Green is guarding James Harden and we have a similar type of shot. But this play is a little bit different because you're going to see Draymond Green doesn't jump directly towards Hard. 
He's jumping in front of Harden, trying to go across from him. Now, the question is, the officials have to decide, would Draymond contact Harden before he lands under normal conditions? Um, probably not on that play. The contact on this play, if you watch it close, is hard. You see him sort of jackknife at his waist, and he brings his legs a little farther than he did on the first shot. And the only contact is with his feet down there at his lower legs. So in our opinion, Draymond would not have contacted James under normal conditions. He did not take away his landing area. So we felt that was a correct no call on that play. What do you think, Jeff? Okay, I, I'm going I'm to I'm speak as a shooter. Every single one of those was a foul. Thank you. As a shooter. Even the one with James kicked Every single one of them. On every single one of them. Space. As a shooter, every single one of those was a foul. And they would, they would, in, they would inhibit you from making the shot. And for me, just looking at it, the fourth one, the last one with, with this one, James Harden's expectation is you've missed three. You're not going to miss this one. So, yes, I'm going to exaggerate my, my fall, and I flopped a little bit as well, but every single one of these This is jumping, a foul. Every, it, so you, sure. you, you yeah. would, the expectation is that you're not going to miss the fourth. Every, it's kind of like Shaq and Charles, got, you get fouled in the post. You know the next time you're going to go a little extra hard in the post yeah. because you know the referee is going to say, you know what, I missed one, so this 50-50 call I'm going to give you. That's a 50-50 call, I would say, and the expectation. These are all fouls. Every single one of them would inhibit. Every single one of them would inhibit you from that's making a normal call. basketball that's shot. Well, let me say, now, I would, I would say the last one wasn't a foul, but you would say, you're not going to miss the fourth one. So I'm going to exaggerate myself a little bit so you could see it, and they did. Can I, so just, can I ask you this question? It would have never been that exaggeration. In the history of that. basketball and civilization, I mean, out of all basketballs ever right. been played. In all civilization. In all civilization. Does anybody whine more than these two teams? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, they, I, that hurts Ernie. too. That, no, hurts, they, that hurts the credibility. I watched that whole game from That hurts the credibility. Finish. They cry yeah, yeah, they do. on every single yeah. call. Uh, so did you, know. and so did you. No, 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 not on every call. Yeah, not on did. every call. Stop if it. I yes, thought I got fouled, I would complain. I'm sure. But did. these guys, there was, and there was probably five or six instances where the play was over. I agree. And the ref came back and called it. But Chris the Paul had a bad day. and James Harden got fouled here, every time. They're two of the whiniest groups in the history of You like the refs because you got all the calls. It's kind of like this. You have a bad day during the playoffs. And this is how it is for big guys. And now you might, uh, you might even hear it differently, Charles. You know how you're taking a jump shot or a, a jump hook in, and as you're taking a jump hook, the guy's boxing you out right. yep. instead of playing D. So he's trying to fake like he's boxing you out right. as you're shooting. That inhibits you from making a shot the That's same way as a shooter. As That's you, a foul. As you might expect at the uh, media availability today, uh, the discussion continued. <laughs> Hang on. Who's that foul on? Is that what? on Ann? That was on Ann. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about the noise coming out of Houston camp? Uh, it's it's disappointing because uh, the the focus should be on two teams that played extremely hard. The, the game has gotten there's so much deception as part of it. Uh, it's part of the game that uh, it's very very difficult to officiate. Um, but Every coach in the league will tell you. You watch the tape afterwards and you think, man, we got screwed. Yesterday, I should have invited you guys. I had a great pity party. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was by myself. And then nobody showed up but me. It's over. I felt sorry for myself. And nobody really helped me out. I got through it. And I'll be fine. I definitely got to do better. I shouldn't have got those texts, you know what I mean, and put, put my team in that situation. But the game's always going to be emotional. You know what I mean? If, I, if, I, if I'm not emotional, then I'm not me. But I definitely got to uh, gotta be better for my team. Four yes. games. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you show me somebody who like to lose, and I'll show you a loser. We got to stand in the playoffs, the way the game is called. Um, it's a little bit more physical. And whether you're trying to, you know, get fouls on, on, on every possession or not, like, it's going to be 50-50 calls and just how it is. But it sucks that that is the narrative coming out of it because we literally could – exhaust our energy on that as well. By the way, $35,000 fine for Chris Paul for the uh, bumping of the official. 
uh, late in that game. I, I will say this. The NBA, all officials are great. They just missed yeah, some great. calls. They had a bad day. They had a bad day. But I don't think the NBA do our officials any uh, service coming out saying they missed three calls down the stretch. Two of them would have been on Steph Curry, and he would have fouled out the game. But those players could have impacted the game a different way. Yeah, but they don't have to come out and throw gasoline on the fire shack. They, they never changed anything. True. Well, why do you come out and say they missed two, they missed three calls? They're trying to be transparent. That's what yeah, they say. The They're trying to be I don't want you to miss those calls. But I don't understand. But they also, but they, I know we, I, it does, I agree with you. But they also do this when everyone's arguing like this, and they'll go, nope, those calls were really good calls. And we stand by them. So they do both. So they will exalt them. I just hate when they the say same way. The you gotta, you got to do both. The ref missed three calls down the stretch, and two of them were to the foul Steph Curry out. That does nobody. Yeah, any that good. doesn't do anybody. Well, let's hope that, that as the series continues, there's and less officiating the talk and more. Uh, hey, no, it won't be. I think them refs are just tired. To be honest with you. <laughs> Shaq, keep telling Barkley to shut yeah, up. Thank you. He whine every play. The young players got their. Are you up here being a hypocrite? The that's, the, that's Draymond's mom. I know it is. That's, know, that's Draymond's mom. And she right. And let me tell you something. Uh, in fairness, them referees might be tired. Those are the same ones that call the Auburn Virginia game. <laughs> they exhausted mentally. <laughs> hey, Miss Green, you better stay off, Chuck. <laughs> I got your back, Mama Green.